Hi, this is Richard Saunders from Alpha Military TV. Uh, I'm down once again at the beautiful surroundings of Reading Air Target Shooting Club. Now, today on the bench, I have one of the most eagerly anticipated rifles of recent times, um, and it's a rifle that um, isn't quite in the uh, in the shops just yet, but is only a, a matter of days away. And this is one of only two or three in the country. Um, it's the Day State Huntsman Revere. Um, and it's the latest in a line of Daystate Huntsman rifles that stretch back pretty much 40 years. Now this new version um, is a side lever cocking action. Um, all Daystate Huntsmans in the past have been uh, bolt actions and in actual fact this, this uh, model, the Revere, will sell alongside the Daystate Huntsman Regal which is the bolt action. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through as usual back to front on the rifle and just talk you through the main features. If you haven't seen our video on the Huntsman Regal then I suggest you take a look at that um, because it will give you good context for this rifle as well. Um, there are just a few differences um, but many of the, 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 the key components of the rifle are the same. Right starting at the back we have this uh, perforated rubber uh, shoulder pad um, it's not adjustable, it doesn't go up and down or side to side or anything like that um, but it's very comfortable in the shoulder because it's nice and sort of squishy. Now the, uh, the cheek piece here or the comb um, that is not um, uh, adjustable either um, but the combination of the, 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 the shoulder pad and the cheek piece really give you pretty good um, um, eye alignment and, uh, and good shoulder fit as well. Um, the pistol grip uh, I should say the stock on this is exactly the same as the Huntsman Regal. Um, it's a, a Minelli stock uh, from Italy, um, walnut, beautiful, beautiful stock. Um, the pistol grip is uh, has some very nice checkering. It's quite a slender pistol grip, um, but is swollen in all the right places. Um, there's a, a thumb shelf up here uh, for those of you who like to shoot uh, with your thumb up. If you prefer to wrap your, your thumb around, that's not a problem either. Uh, the trigger itself is has a nice broad, uh, broad blade. Um, it's two stages uh, and is fully adjustable as well. And the forend um, has uh, checkering as well. It's on both sides and it extends right underneath um, the hole of the uh, of the forend, which is really nice. Now you've got a couple of gauges on um, on the Revere. Uh, this one underneath here tells you what the regulator pressure is, and the one right on the end here tells you what the overall fill pressure is. Um, now a lot of, gun, lot of uh, companies are putting regulators in their rifles right now for good reason because it just makes the whole um, shooting process a lot more consistent and, and accurate. Think of a, a regulator as like the optic on a bottle of whiskey. Um, what it means is that um, the regulator takes a, uh, a supply of air from the main cylinder and stores it uh, for each shot under a very very consistent pressure uh, and so there's a consistent pressure of, of air and a consistent volume of air each shot regardless of the fill pressure and the amount of air in your main cylinder and that means that you get more shots per, per fill and also they're more consistent in terms of velocity. Right there's a safety catch at the top of the rifle here, the top of the action as you can probably hear it's quite sort of snicky snicky on and off you can operate it silently though, uh, which will please hunters. And it has a red dot uh, to show you, um, you know, when, when the rifle is in a live fire position. The, uh, the rifle overall, I think it's about 925 millimeters, something like that long, um, without a silencer. The barrel is a 17 inch Lothar Walther barrel. Um, it's a match grade barrel, very good barrel, uh, and is fully shrouded. But you'll probably want to put a silencer um, on the rifle um, and there's a half inch UNF thread uh, which is accessed by um, removing this, uh, this cap on the end um, to expose that because without it uh, it's got quite a bark like a lot of rifles have. Now the main differences uh, between um, this, the Huntsman Re uh, Revere and the Huntsman Regal is not only the side lever cocking action which is smooth as silk I have to say it really is it's a one finger operation um, and it's just mechanical enough to make you realize that you're operating a piece of uh, a piece of engineering 
The other difference is the magazine, and we'll talk about the magazine um, in a little bit more detail in a while. But the main difference is it has this uh, gated sort of uh, hinged door on the front um, to expose the, the chambers for the pellets. So we'll talk about that in a little while. Now the other um, key difference on this rifle is the fact that um, the breech uh, no longer is required to do uh, any indexing um, for the magazine. Um, on the old Huntsman Regal, the magazine, the old magazine, and had to be indexed by the breech mechanism itself. On this new magazine, the magazine itself is self-indexing, uh, self so that means the breech no longer has to do that, so it's a different design of breech. Now just on the magazine topic, um, and bear with me because this gets a little bit complicated, but basically this magazine um, it will work, or the new style magazine will work with any of the current range of Daystate rifles. Uh, so the Wolverine, Wolverine 2, the Red Wolf, uh, the Renegade, the Pulsar, uh, the magazine will work with all of those rifles. Now the only ex exception to that is that if you buy a Revere, uh, the magazine that comes in the Revere will only work in the Revere and the Huntsman Regal. It won't work in a Red Wolf or a Wolverine. And that's something to do with the, the, the location of the pins um, in, the, in, the, in the magazine. Um, and the other thing is that the old style magazines uh, won't work in this. So only this new magazine will work in the, in the Revere. Right, filling the, uh, the Huntsman Revere is the same as with uh, the Huntsman Regal. Um, as part of your pack you'll get this, uh, this fill probe which is this bronze goldy colour piece here. Um, this adapter um, it comes separately. Um, but there's a collar on the very front of the cylinder here and if you revolve that round you'll reveal the fill port. So the probe simply fills into that port, attach your air supply to that, then fill up to, in this particular case, 250 bar. Like so. Now, in 12 foot pounds uh, mode, you can expect 160 shots from a 2.2 Revere and 140 shots um, from a 177 Revere. Now, there are also some high powered uh, versions of this as well. There's an 18 foot pound 177, 30 foot pound 2.2, and a 40 foot pound 2.5. Well, let's talk about this magazine in a little bit more detail. Um, it is um, access from the right hand side of the rifle um, it's held in place by magnets now um, the day state huntsman revere is available either as a dedicated left-handed rifle or a dedicated right hand uh, rifle right hand rifles have the cocking lever on the right and the magazine accesses the breech on the right left-handed magazine uh, left-handed rifles have uh, the cocking action on the left and the magazine goes in from the left as well now the magazine itself, so hopefully you can see this, there's a little trap door that opens on the front. It's held in place with, uh, uh, with magnets and to fill it you've got to turn this drum round clockwise as far as it will go and then put a pellet in the bottom, um, the bottom most hole, this one down here. Once you've done that, that locks that drum in place and you can then go ahead and uh, put pellets in to all the other holes as well. Right, so once you've filled up your rifle you can expect um, around about 160 shots uh, from a 12 foot pound 2.2 rifle which is the same as the Huntsman Regal and 140 shots in 177 at 12 foot pounds. Now there are uh, some FAC high powered versions of this rifle, so there's a, an 18 foot pound 177, a 30 foot pound 22 and a 40 foot pound uh, 25 model as well. So we've got the magazine loaded, let's see how the rifle shoots. Now I should say I've got, not got a silencer on this so there's a bit of a bark from the rifle. Um, and if you're going to be hunting um, you're probably going to want to fit a silencer. Um, although the, the, the barrel is shrouded, it, it does need a silencer.
not too bad is it that's uh about 30 meters getting camera saunders uh, this test was using air arms diablo field pellets 4.52 millimeters uh, and it seemed to like them so that's it that's the new day state huntsman revere i hope you liked the video you even found it interesting and informative if you did um if you hit the subscribe button um, you'll get an automatic feed of all of our stuff um, give us a like as well if that's okay and if you'd like more information on air gunning topics generally uh, and a rundown and review of the entire day state range then please take a look at our website which is alphamilitaria.com thanks for watching